Can we call that the Matt McConaughey deadlift? Anybody? 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 So you're a freshman, right? Yeah. Welcome everyone back to work at 48, the single side special. No one is here without having done the cardio mandate I issued in the last workout because we're all going in order. Finger shake, finger shake. Big workout number 50 is coming up. It's going to be a tribute workout. I'll just give you a sneak peek without giving too much away. And today's workout is single sided theme. If I forget to say it, I will not. I'll say it many times. Today, just remember, same arm, same leg. All the other single leg moves we've done have been opposite to opposite. Contralateral, today we're going to be working the one side. So any setup you're confused with, just remember, same arm and same leg is how you're setting up. On the board, let's take a look. It's two parts. First part's going to be three sets. We're going to do the kickstand deadlift or the single leg deadlift. There's a few ways to set that up. Ten per side. That'll be the same arm and same leg doing work. Usually we've gone cross body into a floor four-way press. So that's gonna crush the arm, it's five reps of each. We're gonna lay on our backs, single arm, tricep extension, five reps, into regular floor press, five reps. We haven't done yet, we're gonna roll to our side and do side press. We'll prep that, practice that in the warm-up, and then we drop back to back and go up into our five Turkish sit-ups per side. So 20 reps before you get to change hand and flush that out. So that'll burn for three times through. Second part is our bigger lifts. We're sticking with the four by 10 rep scheme. So four sets of that, the single side deadlift. It'll be kind of like a big farmer's carry pickup deadlift or a suitcase deadlift just to the one side. So there's a few ways to do that. If you're not great with balance, you're just gonna try to put as much weight to that leg while still keeping your other leg down for safety. And then we have uh, 10 reps overhead. So overhead can be any way. I'm gonna start strict for two sets. Then I'm gonna utilize the push press to give me a little more weight. And then third round, I'm gonna jerk and get under the weight. That's the hardest one to teach. That lets you handle the biggest weight. Without putting the weight down, we have to transfer straight into 10 snatch on that arm. So again, it's another 20 reps on that side before you get to switch. And that's it for the big lifts there. And then we haven't done, at least I can't remember lately, a big burnout at the end. So just to blow the triceps up, we work down to those smallest muscles. We're going to do overhead extension with whatever weight you have or plates or kettlebells. As many as you can when you're dead, put it down. We'll go into five recovery windmills per side. We've trained the windmill two or three times already. And you get three strikes at it. So three sets just to keep decaying. Your reps should go down, down, down until you can barely move the arms and we're out of this workout. Next workout is going to be all the reverse muscle sets. So a lot of single leg squatting and we'll definitely finish with the biceps, I promise. So let's get to the warm up. You need a mat and two light dumbbells, five to 20 pounders. Light is relative depending on who you are. So pick your light ones and let's get after it. Okay, here we are for warm up. It's a miracle. We're starting standing up, holy smokes. Let's go into some of those low hamstring sweeps, pulling that toe up high and we'll work our range down lower and lower to the ground. There's another windstorm going on outside. So the whole roof is vibrating. I don't know if you can hear that. I had the heater on last workout. It was lovely, but I could hear it pretty badly in the mic. So we'll see how I manage without it. Okay, remember we're high meadow grass and we're working ourselves down to almost touching the floor, I'm trying to keep this leg about 90% locked out. Okay, and then we'll do stiff leg kicks. Start kicking stiff low if you're tight. That's where you're gonna get stuck. It's where you stay. And we can work the height up a little higher. Again, not full locked leg, 90 degree bends okay. March the kicks back and forth. You can hang on and just do the same side if your balance is not great. By now you would know if it is or not. The space oddity, what was it? Space oddity quarantine section would have definitely told you how your balance is doing. Get those hamstrings pulling. We got to get that stretch. Got to get some range because everything is off the single leg today. Okay, wide stance, double pulse to ground, hips go back. 
double pulse. Start with our first big backward shoulder rotation there. Double pulse, backward circle. If I go side profile, double pulse. I want to be getting arms way back behind the shoulder line. I don't want to be stuck here. I want to try to get the pecs and chest open. Double, back around, double. And by now you'd also know if you definitely need to do your homework on opening the check chest back up. The Knuckle Draggers fan club, you know I love you, but you know you need to open up those pecs, open up the shoulders. Okay, then we're gonna do the lazy single leg deadlift. So you can try to fully balance, keep just a toe tip, and we're gonna pick up the penny off the ground. So no weight, you can round the back here, form is not so important. Just gonna go down, there it is, and up. Try to get the hip hinge family working, not so much knee and squat. So I'm sticking the butt back, counterbalance, down and up. And if you wanna be aware of your spine right now, you may not be able to go as low. And we're just going down, reaching the penny. Good, and uh, right now, this is the only time I'm going opposite, opposite. So opposite, opposite, let's switch the foot. And then we'll switch that up so we can start getting onto that same side, same leg. For right now, it doesn't matter. Going down, grabbing it. Down, grabbing it. So not squatting so much. Big hip hinge and up. Okay, then we'll go now same side, same leg, same arm, same leg for the Romanian deadlift. So I'm gonna balance on one leg, same arm is coming down. I'm kicking the back leg back and remember nose and heel move together like you're, uh, you have a broomstick shoved right through the body and it's gonna come down. Assume I have weight in this hand and practice. This is always gonna feel weird with the weight on the same side just practice the hip hinge RDL movement with what would be a dumbbell on that side. And your token touch for balance if you need to. Two more. Good, I'll switch around. Same arm, same leg. Everything moves together. Okay, good. Now we're gonna drop the floor. I got rid of my mat, I'm just gonna go on the hard floor. We haven't done an arm bar yet, and we'll start with side press. So those are the two moves we'll work off the ground. Side press is easier, and you can use your light dumbbell for this. We're gonna just lay like so. Assume our back is up against the wall, and my arm is gonna work a press pattern straight up. If you're really mobile, that elbow disappears behind the rib. Otherwise, we're just landing on the rib, and Pressing, so let's start with 15 of those per side. Up, down, up, down. Pretty straightforward, you can't screw this up. What you don't wanna do is rotate open so your back's kinda of facing the floor and just turn this into a floor press. We gotta stay at the 90 degree. Nine, 10, it works definitely with dumbbells, works better with kettlebells. So if you have kettlebells today, you'll be in a better spot. I'll do half of my work with dumbbell, half with kettlebell just to match the crowds at home. Good, don't crush my mic. Switch over, here's a good backside profile. Back is straight, shoulders stacked. Three, four, six, seven, Eight, nine, this is gonna be the one, the third move we're doing in the next warm up sequence with heavier weight. 13, 14, good, we come back to the first side. Okay, now we're gonna go into an arm bar. 
So the whole point of the arm bar is we want the arm drifting back behind us without losing balance, without ripping your arm off. And the way we're gonna do that is get arm up ahead, arms up, this leg's gonna come in front, we're gonna feel the floor and start turning belly button to ground. You'll hit a max out point where that belt wants to come over and you're trying to reach the opposite direction and then we can roll back almost to flat to restore the rep. Reach this toe, slide it. Okay, don't, don't get jammed on your own arm. I know I'm too tall for the screen. I wish I had more room. Oh, let that dumbbell open the arm up and restore the rep. Go back out, feel the ground and let that chest open. So it's called arm bar if you've ever been in an arm bar. Uh, scary nightmare deja vu here. But it's passive and shouldn't be killing you. The weight should be light enough. You can just hang out uh, and get that stretch. <sighs> okay, next side. Okay, I just can't lay on my back because I'll crush the mic. But I'm going to start about 45. I'm going to reach and feel with this leg. Arm is up overhead so you're not rolling onto your own arm. Uh, opening up, trying to almost get the hips flat to the floor. And then up. This is definitely a kettlebell move. Bell on the outside of your forearm helps weigh you back further, but it's all good. Introduction time, first time doing it. Just get used to what that feels like opening the pecs up. One or two more reps. Or you can just linger here. Nice passive position. It's active because you're holding that weight up. So that's okay for the warm up. Whoa. Okay, and then last move, we'll do that circular push up. So I'll let you go off your knees if you need to for this, or just hop up onto the bench or box nearby if you have it. And we're gonna drop onto, shift to one side coming down for the negative, go to square to push up, and then do about six per side. So I'm gonna shift the weight almost all the weight under this arm, coming down, back to square, up, over. And we'll just turn on that single limb push pattern and then we'll get into it. One more. Good, go on the other side. Over. Remember the negative, the lowering is way stronger than the pushing positive to get you up. That's eccentric versus concentric. So you can always add more resistance on the down. Ooh. Last one. Yeah. And done for me. Okay, so, so coming up for part one, you're gonna need your heavy single-sided implement to pick up. I'm actually gonna be using the squat rack to brace off of to do the kickstand RDL. Your toe can be on the ground or you can just hover. It's all the same. So whatever you think you can pick up, I'll probably be in the 35, 45, 55 range. And then we're gonna go with that single implement, dumbbell or kettlebell, your weakest move will be the tricep extension off floor. You can use your other hand to assist on that and then the rest should be good to go. So I'll be again in the 35 to 55 range for those moves. See you back in a sec. Okay, going into the deadlifts for the rest of the workout, remember, same leg, same hand is picking it up. As long as you're in that pattern, those moves will be okay today. I'm gonna start with foot braced up against the upright. You can go against your wall, and that'll kind of limit me from swinging that leg into the RDL and make it a little different. So let's go for 10 reps. That weight's off to the side. This is gonna be a big theme of anti-rotation. Don't let that weight turn you around. So I'm hinging down, nice straight back line, picking up, down. And if you can just float that in free space, assume your leg is tied, tied around here, you can basically get the same pattern. Don't touch floor if you know you're too stiff for it. Back is law, you gotta keep that straight back. Good. We've done the single leg deadlift with toe up on a bench. The only difference with that is you can push into the into the bench to give you some extra power. 
I guess I don't have to switch side for going up. But if you if you just have your bench or couch around, you can also set up in the same pattern. We're just working the hip and that single hamstring. Ten piece of cake that was pretty light for me, so I'll get that ready for heavier. Okay, then we go to ground. I'm not using a mat just so I can have the most range. My mats are pretty thick. If yours is thin, you can get away with it. So watch this. Okay, on our backs, land this bell either tap or flat. Kick it up. Negative is easier, so always single down. If you get stuck. Use your second hand to bring it up. On your own on the way down, second hand can assist it because this is the hardest move. Ooh, I can still gas this 30 on my own. And that was five into five. This is a piece of cake. Four, three, two, one is floor press. You can push into glute bridge to get some extra juice there. And then we're rolling over to side. This is gonna be the hard one. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to flat, same knee as bent. Getting the sit up, back down. Sit up, back down. Three, remember we push, push from the foot. We roll onto this far arm and use the elbow to pry us up. And down, last one, and Good, and that's 20 sustained reps before we switch. Dumbbell, you can switch across the body. Kettlebell, always switch and drag around the head. Ooh. Here we go, next side. Down, landing it flat, right next to the ear. Kick it up, one, two, three, four. Sometimes this is called a rolling press. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, my mic. Gotta work around the mic here. Laying on the side. One, two, three, four, five. Same knee, kick the other leg out really wide. One, two, Three, four, five. Done with that. No water break. We'll just go right through. It's only three rounds. I might regret it, but I'm going to try a 45er kettlebell for this sequence, and I'll go to 50, 55 for the single leg kick. Okay, planting, you gotta shift your body to line up that leg with the rack or the wall. I'm gonna go down and get it. Brace, load the back. One, two, three, four. You can't turn and reach to the ground. Whole body has to go down evenly like you have two weights in your hand. Nine, ten, switching. Eight, strong straight back. Can we call that the Matt McConaughey deadlift? Anybody? 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 So you're a freshman, right? Yeah. Get the reference? Yeah, maybe. Good. Okay, 45. I can assist for the tricep. Let's start the side I just finished on. Uh, dumbbell was a hammer grip. Kettlebell is going to be a false grip. 
So it's an open palm. Handle obviously goes right across the palm. Bell starts by the ear. Let's see what I got here. Nope. So assist up, negative down. Assist. Up. Okay, five press. One, two, three, four, five. One, I don't have as much range here. That's good. Two, three, four, five. Set my Turkish sit up up. Keep that arm locked. You're fighting endurance. One, the move's gonna go a little slower. Two, three, the bell wants to always rip you open. Four, oh, bells are freezing. Five, oh. Bell lands here, drag over the head, switch to the other side. With the bell, weights on the outside, it wants to pry you over, so there's more force happening. Okay, tricep extension, assist up, down, by yourself. Assist, by yourself. I'm probably exactly blocked here. Here we go. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Side press. One, two, three. Try to just keep peripheral sight on the bell. Four, five. I'm on the buckle. Oh man. One. Two. Three. Oh, arms burning. Four. Five. Roll over to put the bell or weight down. Never just arm wrestler slam to the side. That's how you hurt yourself. Wow, that was more intense than I thought. Whoo, wasn't ready for that. Okay, one more time. Here we go, I'm gonna start on this side. Set up the Matt McConaughey lean. Hinge down to get it. Round three. Two, a lot of core today. Keep your core tight. Four, five, six, eight. Sit your hips back. Nine, ten. And I'm back to this so soon. I finished the side, so I'm gonna start on it. I don't know why I made that evil rule. No talking. I'll try to go a little quicker. Kettlebells, roll over to grab them always. Roll, and then we can set. Right here, elbow faces the ceiling. Okay, assist up, down. I'm gonna go into a glute bridge to press here. Glute bridge, elbow touch floor. One, 
two, three, four, five. Rolling over, five, four, three, two, whoa, one. Oh, give myself a little break for a sec. Lock out, same knee bent, same arm. One, two, three, four, five, whoa. Roll to the side, that's your escape. Bell up overhead to get to the other side. Okay, here we go, second side. Ooh, I'm drifting, I'm drifting. Keep your spotting hand close. Four, this is pure tricep. Five. Uh, glute bridge. One, two, three, four, five. Side press. One, this is tough. Two. I don't have it. I'm gonna finish with 30s here. Wow. My hand is iced, frozen from how cold that is. I can't feel my hand. Three, four, five. Know your limit, no one to eject, and get rid of that weight. Coming across. I'll try the Turk sit up because it's just an arm lockout. Okay, last five reps. One, two, Three, four, I'm sliding across my slippery floors here. Five, oh. Ah, oh, that was tough. Woo, warm up circuit finished. Get ready for four sets of 10 reps coming up. I've twisted myself up entirely here. Okay, heavy single implement to pick up with one arm, one leg, just like this. I'm picking up, back foot can assist on the ground if it needs to. And then you're getting a heavy implement to press overhead and to snatch, 10 per side. See you there in a sec. Okay, part two, set one, here we go. I'm gonna use my 80 pound kettlebell for the single side, single deadlift. It would basically be called a single sided suitcase deadlift. I'm gonna start with a 35 pound bell for strict press into snatch 10 per side. So a few different setups, you can see modifications on the side. It's basically gonna be for your tightness and range of motion. If you have anything you can stilt your weight up onto, you essentially wouldn't have to go down as far to grab it and that would work. And if you're not comfy with any of this, you're doing the same sided single, or same side, same leg, RDL, and we've done a lot of those RDLs in the past. So that's how you can make a lighter weight a lot more uh, intense. So otherwise we're going here. I'm gonna put 90% and 10% on this toe. If I can float this toe, I'm going 100% this leg for 10 deadlifts. Brace, don't get twisted. Super straight, perfect hinge. Picking up my heavy suitcase with one leg. And it's a hinge, not a squat. Nine, ten. Put that down, switch side. Let's give you side profile here. 
Okay, going down to pick up that heavy suitcase. Mm, brace. Oof. Pretend you have the same weight in this hand. Oof. 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 Don't let it pull you over. Leave that right there. That's probably gonna be enough for me. 40 reps of that will start to chew you up. Whew. Okay, 35 bell, starting strict. Other hand is squeezing, lock the frame. Three, four, five, six, right down to shoulder. Perfectly straight, 45 or open is fine. Eight, nine, 10, without taking a break, we go into 10 snatch. Drop straight down, pull straight up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Switch an arm. Lock the frame. Eight. Squeeze your butt. Nine, ten. One, two, three. Snatch goes right up the body, right down. Nine, ten. Okay, I'm a little scared. I'm gonna jump to 40 pounds for next round. I'll keep that at 80. See you back. Water break breather, set two. Okay, I'm gonna set up side profile again. Again, if you're too tight and you break your back rounding to get down to that ground, you gotta find the height to start from. Stilt that weight up so you can go down to a perfect neutral spine position and up, enough talking. Balancing on one leg, pretending you're picking up two, but we're only going down for one. Whoa, don't let it pull you over. Awkward. Uh, it just wants to just wants to peel you over. Next side. Or a little toe balance can help you. This is a bottoms up rep, so you don't want to start up high. We're going down to pick it up and put it back down. Awkward. Okay, I said I was scared, not because of how heavy this is getting, but just on how fatiguing it's gonna get. So I'll start right arm and go to left. 40 pounds here. I'm trying to go strict, strict, and then I'll push press and then I'll jerk. So still a strict round. Rigid.
Eight, nine, squeeze your other hand. Body is concrete. Uh, 10. Straighten to snatch. Two, three, Remember the dumbbell snatch is a straight high pull up. Kettlebell snatch is a swing to a high pull manipulation. So totally different realms. Second side. Oh. Full range of motion. Use your legs. that power block home. I'm going to go to a 45 pound kettlebell next, but I'm going to use the push press. So it should help me out. Woo. Water break breather set three in a sec. Okay. Set three, just to match anyone who doesn't have 80 or hundred pound kettlebells laying around at home. I'm going to do that single or the same side RDL to remind myself how weird it feels and we'll all do this round together. So it's almost half the weight and it's still going to be just as extreme on that one side. So here we go for 10, picking it up. And this is completely counterintuitive to how we've done them all in the past. So here we go. Nose and heel work together. Try not to lose balance. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Pretend you're holding two matching kettlebells or dumbbells. Eight. Nine. Ten. Don't lose balance. I think I did a bonus there. That's fine. Okay. You get out of breath because you're bracing so hard. Ooh. Okay, 45, I cannot do 10 strict at this point. Arms are shot, so I'm gonna utilize the spring, load the spring, and explode that force up into the bell, straight into off, into my swing snatch, which hopefully should be a little easier with the momentum. Woo. Push press. Snatch. Nine. 
right up into the rack, other side. Just the lungs now. Eight. Nine. Ten. slow that was better land the bell in front uh, okay sticking with that I'll go back to the 80 fourth set coming up catch your breath sip of water see you back in a sec Okay, fourth set, final set before the tricep burnout. Here we go. I'm back to the more conventional deadlift, not the stiff leg RDL swinging deadlift. Picking up your heavy suitcase. Getting ready, second side. Heavy suitcase, going down straight back. Brace to get it. say it once this workout because you're all pros if it's lightweight you're going more reps you can slow it down you can pause it out you know the rules if you don't have the weight needed to hit that rep range make it happen oh. clean you up later I'm gonna start on the left side and I can utilize the jerk which is the push push press start Another second drop to get under the weight, and then the legs help you at the end. I don't know if I'll need it to the last few reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tight core. Try not to put it down. One, two, 
three, four, five. A lockout can be a rest position if you're really good at it. Seven, eight, nine, last rep. Ten. Ah, perfect landing. Okay, kettlebell, dumbbell, or a weight plate. As many as we can do. And then body weight, or light dumbbell, or kettlebell. Five, stretch it out, windmills per side. See you back for three strikes. Okay, part three, the burn out, three strikes. Everyone just copy me, let's body weight rehearse the windmill. Remember it's loaded leg straight forward, opposite leg is 45 degree turn. This is the I am a little teapot game, x-ray of the spine, isn't side bending, there's no curve. You go from this hip, like you're getting pulled backwards, and it's a hip hinge, same leg, same arm theme, is up high, that's where your weight can be, and we're coming down inside this ankle, okay, and you should see my rib line here that's dead straight. There's no bend, okay? And we're not folding forward, it's hip hinging back, gets us the range. We've done these before, so you should be familiar. No weight, lightweight, I'll use a 25 pound dumbbell. In all three rounds, I'll do a dumbbell, a kettlebell, and a weight plate for my tricep extension. So let's start there. I have a 35 pound bell. Remember on the way down, think about your bicep curling and squeezing, flexing the bicep at the bottom, and then tricep takes over. Ooh. Split stance helps. Down, 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 down. Flex the bicep to stretch the tricep out and up. There's no quick or slow tempo rule. It's just time allotted tension. No matter what, five super slow reps or 50 fast, you're going to hit that limit. Ah, just flex at the bottom. Flex your bicep every rep. I'm slowing down. I'm stuck. That was my first strike there. Getting my kettlebell ready. I got to back up to show you. Okay, just like we set up. Bell's locked out. Hinging back diagonal towards these weight plates. Watching the bell. And we don't have to kill ourselves on this. It's restorative. Four. There's kind of a rotation open happening to look up to the bell. Dumbbell works as well, but not quite as well as the kettlebells. Stiffer on this side. I'm not going to go down as low. Those are amazing moves. Okay, you can't take any breaks. We'll go straight to it. I'm going to grab the 35 kettlebell. The weight is away from my hands. So it's going to pull a lot harder. Oh, big scratch the back, full range of motion, uh, kicking up and turning 90 degrees. Holy crap, I'm tall. What is going on here? Down. Whew. Whew. Try to scratch your back with the bell or the weight. Oh, I didn't last very long there. Ooh. That was not good. Five windmill. Six. 
super tight core. Just do body weight if you haven't done these before. My shoulders have nothing left. I can't do it. I need lighter. 15 is next round. Shoulders are shot. Oh. And then weight plate. Crap. My 45 is accessible, but the weight is better distributed. So let's see what happens here. Oh, nice back scratcher. Hold the pizza flat over your head. Scratch the back. Elbow sky high. Lost it. Oh, I lost it. Where's my 15er? 15 pounds to finish. No when to fold them. Just going lighter. Oh, it's that first arm. That's what's going on. It's gas from the triceps. Changing stance. Singing the I'm a little teapot song. Tip me over. And just to finish, bonus windmill is in the side press family. The side press is on the ground. If we were to do them standing, you rotate the weight open, get under it to the side, we're bracing on the knee, and the weight comes off the side of the body. You brace like so, and then you catch it. So that's an old school strongman, old school circus strongman performance. They could do incredible side press weight. So maybe we'll mix that variation in for the next workouts in the future. Only workout 49 to go before 50. I told you what it's all about already. 49 is reverse of all this for body movements, patterns, but it's still gonna be as brutal and our biceps will be as pumped as the triceps right now. So see you back for 49 and 50 coming up.